Hey motherfuckers, my battery's running low on this damn thing, so I'm going to do a quick review here on Dracula Dead and Loving It, or wait, what was it? No, Dracula Untold, which um, if you know a lot about Vlad the Impaler, um, just try to watch the movie with an open mind, because a lot of the historical facts, and you know, if, if you're like one of those nerds that you know, when you watch a movie about a subject you're interested in and you try to take it apart. And, um, I mean, the, the movie has nothing to do with reality, not just because he's a vampire, but they get the geographic locations where he, well, he's, he's Prince Vlad the Impaler, which I don't know if he was a ruler, especially in the, because the movie takes place in 1442 which in reality wasn't Vlad the Impaler born in 1431, so he would have been like 11, 12 years old at the time. So I don't think they really uh, pay too much attention to detail and historical facts. But, it, you know, if you just want to watch a movie to get stoned to and to drink to, just watch it. I mean, <laughs> I mean, it does have good CGI effects. And, and you know, I, I like uh, that he's able to turn into this what do they call it, flock of bats, when he wants to fly somewhere, um, so, uh, um, I don't know, I don't know, maybe I'm just kind of, kind of glad I didn't pay the eight bucks to see it, but it's definitely red box material, so if you're bored, and you, you know, if you haven't seen it, and you don't want a movie to watch, or you don't want to, you want to see a movie you haven't seen yet, I'd, I'd check it out, though, they, they left it open for a sequel, so, um, so I don't know how they're going to do that. Uh, they did because I, I, I was kind of expecting them to maybe introduce some of the some of the Dracula characters, like maybe Jonathan Harker. Maybe at the end he'd meet him, but it didn't happen. Uh, so I don't want to really give away the ending in case if you do decide um, to see the movie. Um, uh, I, you know, I, I'm I'm going to give it. Uh, I'd give it 6 out of 10. Well, 7 out of 10. 6 out of 10. Yeah, whatever. Fuck it. 6. I'll give it 7 out of 10. Fuck it. Just because I'm being generous. Um, yeah, but it's... Uh, just just watch it. You know, just see how you feel. I thought it was pretty good. Um, didn't think it was movie material... Or movie theater material. So, uh, glad I just waited for it on Redbox. Because originally I was going to plan to see it at the theater, but, uh, here I am blabbering, um, well, I did promise you a Flesh Eater video review on it, so even if you don't find this review helpful, then fuck you, I took the, I was, I was gracious enough to take the time to do this, <laughs> anyway, I don't know, just, if you want to check it out, um, you know, it's, it's a good 92 minutes, so, I, you know, just it's a it's a quick watch, so just check it out, okay? All right, flesh eater out. I better get off this thing before my battery dies.